Hey guys. All right, just some thoughts and quick updates as we come into the studio. If you watched last week, you knew we took all this star polyp out, green star polyp. What I think I'm going to do today is trim this down. And we wanted to talk about how I'm gonna lay this out. And a big part of that will be what I'm putting into the tank as far as coral. You are? You're getting way better on camera now. You used to dread this. Planning has to be the largest part of doing what we're doing here. You have to know where the corals are going to be and which ones you're going to use, how big they'll grow, and that will depend on where you place the live rock. So we're gonna do a little bit of that today. And we're also gonna just cut this down to size. It's way too big for in here. Oh, and another thing, adding magnesium I can't tell you how much better the tank looks. Even the 20 gallon, everything is really opened up a lot more. So get your magnesium up to 1350 and you'll see a difference, I guarantee it. I cleaned my refugium a little yesterday, got rid of the hair algae off there. I trimmed back some of this Kenya tree because it was blocking the view of this left side of the tank here, it was hanging over. The frags look really well, they're growing back in. And I think I'm going to put one of the two here into the 20 gallon, but once again, that depends on where my live rock will be, what the flow will look like. The five gallon is doing okay. I don't do too much with that, guys. I'm gonna to come to that eventually. What I was thinking over in the 10, guys, you tell me in the comments, this, leather this is the australian leather it is the offspring of that guy back there which is looking really good by the way and it's getting large for in here it's hitting the glass and i think what i might do is cut this piece of live rock off in here and move this into the 20 gallon somewhere and then move this piece, which I put in here a while ago, and I'll put that in here. So that's a little bit of an update. Let's get the video going. Hey guys, All right, episode two, The Rocks. They're downstairs cooking away. Now here's the setup for today, guys. We'll come back to that. All right, so I wanted to show you the live rock. We're down on the first floor today. I'm also going to have to frag the hammer coral. You want to cut on both sides of the skeleton. I think that's about it. So let's get right into it. All right, this is the E Marco 400. I have videos on this, guys. This stuff over here. Uh, it's really easy. You mix this stuff into the cement. This is coralline red, which is really nice. And then I have some salt water in here from my 20 gallon. All right, this here, guys, is just paper. I cut this to the footprint of the tank upstairs, so I know where my edges are. That's the only reason why I did that. So here it is. This is the consistency probably still a little loose, but by the time I bring the rock out, here's the bucket. I already put some reef primer in there, which will help with removing all the flatworms. The coral looks really, really nice. Since I've added magnesium, guys, and I said this in a short, this is only about 10.30 a.m. Lights have only been on full intensity for about an hour, not even an hour yet and everything's really open. That's what the magnesium's doing. So I'm gonna put some water in here from the tank. I'm going to use the bone cutters to cut the hammer coral, and then I'll just keep the pieces in this tank until I know what to do with them. All right, let's do it. Okay, everything's mixed up in there. Going in to get the hammer coral. I hate doing this, you know, it's like they're doing great and then you have to take them out. Oh, here I am again, guys, with no gloves on. Sorry. All right, I just want to make sure these are all 
in far enough so they don't cut. They're not too long where they'll tear. All right, so I'm going in here. I have just enough water in here to fit in there. And I can leave this in here up to five minutes. So what I will do is ever so gently. This rock is the perfect rock. Guess what I'm not gonna have to do at all? I'm not gonna have to chisel or cut apart anything. I wanted something with some ridges. And look at this. It naturally has nice caves and ridges. I believe this is probably Tonga rock or Indonesia, somewhere from there. But this has a lot of place places to put corals, you know, like plateaus. So this probably here will go out towards the front or the side. So I want it to do this. And I think the other option would have been to cut this off, but I didn't want to bring a saw in here. So I'm going to go in here with this. And that's pretty good that way. It's completely vertical. See the cement in here is actually just the way I like it. Hopefully this will be enough to hold this the way I want it. These I can slightly move around anywhere I want once I get it in the tank. And what I'll do to make marks is I'll go get a little piece of rock rubble. Even though you're not gonna see this, I'll make rock rubble around the bottom to make it look real, like real rock. You want to cut on both sides of the skeleton. So you don't want to just cut through the whole thing. You cut a little on this side, or you could take this out and band saw it. I don't have one of them. So I'm going to cut. Oh, <laughs> all right, that worked. I was just going to do one side. There we go. Oops. Okay, so this, see that? Oh, so you can see how I did that. And then this frag would be glued onto a piece of live rock. I'm not a frag expert, guys. I just usually let things grow. I'm gonna do a little more of a water change. I wanna get some more of that detritus out of the back of the tank. Okay, that one's in kind of where I think I want it to be. I had a little change of plan. I thought I was gonna put the taller one up front, but I think the taller one in the back will look better and I have to see whether or not it's going to fit without me taking this off. So let's go get the other one. I think that's a good place for it. So I got to look at it from your point of view. Gaps are okay. That's Kenya tree growing in there and I have this part of the rock here showing. I don't want to be too close to the edge. This is like on a quarter. This is on a third, and then this is over on another quarter. And then this area in here, when I put coral on that back rock toward the middle, that will grow in towards the center. This will grow in towards the center. So I want that space open. So there it is, guys. I'll let this clear up and show you what it looks like. guys we're moving along next week the corals remember questions comments all that stuff take care have a great week see you on the next one watch those shorts